by Studio 67. Finally, a create with me. <laughs> it's been ages coming, guys, and I'm so, so sorry. I can't, I have no legitimate reason other than I'm just completely scatterbrained at the moment. I don't know which way is up, and I just am struggling, I'll be honest, to keep up with everything that's taking place um, work-wise, personal-wise. I won't bore any of you with it, but oh my God, I need prayer. <laughs> I really need prayer. Okay, so today we are going to make some banner paper clips for our junk journals. Um, I just, oh, deep breaths, deep breaths, Gina. I need to do some small projects because uh, I'm in just overload. I don't know. So let's just do something fun that is small and quick and we can just all breathe. <laughs> okay, so I there's no rhyme or reason to this. I haven't planned this. I just thought, oh my gosh, i got to get on there and do something. So today, I've just grabbed, you know, we've all got that big bunch of extra papers, which is just getting completely out of hand. I fussy cut stuff. I've got die cuts in this little container. I've got miniature tags here, and then somewhere around the place I've got some little stamps. So let's just get started. Um, I may have to stop from time to time and do some stitching, but you guys are used to that. So um, these papers coordinated together, and I've got them left over, so I just thought we'll get started with those. I've got another crisis with my glue. You know, the metal tip I bought, oh my gosh, it glued to the other uh, lid. And when I tried to take it off, dumb-like, I should have just taken the whole lid off. I didn't, and it broke. And the this tip was glued down in there, so it's just gone. I put it in acetone. Um thinking that might dissolve it. Well, I'm going to order another one, so uh, we're back to my issues with glue. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, so what we're going to do, I want to save that little, let me do a different one here, because I want to save that little uh, butterfly. So yeah, it's just been, oh, I don't know, like I said, I, I know it's me because it's not that anything, well, there are more things going on, but I don't think that's really it. I think I'm just not really maybe coping as well this week for some reason, and I know we all have those times, so I know it's nothing unique, and uh, I'll be fine. It's It's not, you know... It's nothing that terrible. I mean, in comparison to what other people are going through at the moment, I just count myself actually lucky this, that that's, you know, that's all I'm dealing with. So, um, so yeah, you might, you might get a little bit of chatter today. I guess I'm, I'm just in one of those days. Maybe I'm thinking out loud. I don't know. I'll try not to bore you guys too much. Uh, it's just I've really missed getting on here and just making little um, little projects. It's been so long, and I am sorry that it's taken me this while, this long. But um, okay, so I've just cut that, cut out a little. Um, you know, you saw me fold it, and cut it out. So I'm just going to add this paper onto that and then when I get a batch of them I'll shut off the camera and go do whatever sewing <coughs> I feel that needs doing. But this one, let's see, I'm just going to actually cut that. I want that butterfly on there and then I might just layer this a little bit. Oh, so yeah. It's um I've decided that I am going to get myself in gear here and get a bunch of uh, previous projects done because it's I'm not the kind of person that can have that stuff sitting around. I know a lot of people 
have things from years ago and that's great I wish I could work that way but I don't have the room to do it for one thing mm -hmm. and I feel like it's all closing in on me so um, so that's going to be my primary focus over the next I don't know how long guys I'm in such a funk with these journals at the moment and it's oh it's just doing my head and I'm taking a break from it that's just that's just how it's got to be. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I've just got bits and things, you know, things laying around. And I'm just seeing what I like, what I think would work. I've got a little bit of this burlap. Oh, don't let me use those fabric scissors. Wow. Um, so that's that's what, where I'm at with all of this. I just have to get back to some... Don't get me wrong, I love making the journals, but I, right now my mind is not in the place it needs to be to do it, so I've got to take a short break. And this is gonna... I'm gonna try to spend more time doing some little um, Create With Me videos for you guys. Um, you know, it's all simple things. You've seen it done, but I know a lot of... Um, my subscribers, they just, they like to see the process um, because everybody's process is different. So that's good. You know, I'm glad that you guys like that because I'm not claiming that any of this is unique whatsoever. <clears throat> but hopefully you'll pick up something from me that maybe you hadn't seen somewhere else. I don't know. Um, I like the burlap there. Let me see if i got anything else I want to add. That doesn't really go with it, does it? Just trying to see. I've got this little um, when I do my fuss, you know, fussy cutting at night uh, because you know we we never stop, do we? It's just uh, you move from one room to another with all your stuff. So if I see something later I want to add to that but actually that's fine for now I'm just going to sit that over and I just want to get on and use up some more of this paper that I've got let me get my paper cover over here guys <clears throat> So, the weather in the UK at the moment is actually cleared up, thank goodness. Uh, so I am pleased about that. I managed to get out this weekend, and it was amazing. On Sunday, I got out and did, um, Paul and I jumped out. And we're working on our garden. And I might share some of those photos on Instagram. I don't know. I'm going back and forth on Instagram. Um, whether to open up an, another page that's not related to journals. Because I know uh, people who follow me, they're expecting everything to be journal related. But um, we do have a life. And <laughs> I have other stuff going on. So I might do that. I might open up another Instagram page and show you but anyways we got out there and um, we painted the fence well, one section of the fence we've added two raised flower beds and I managed to get the first coat of paint onto my um, shed so it was a good day's work, plus I did a little bit of planting here and there. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how, uh, how much we did accomplish. Still a lot more to go, but uh, you know, the body will only do so much these days without needing a break. <laughs> okay, what have I got to go on here? Mm, let me see, I might just put a little tag. Got a tag there cut up. <coughs> I 
and I'll probably put a little bit of fabric under this but and then stitch it but right now I just want to get it inked and I'm going to stamp something on that. So yeah this is going to be my focus is to really get um, a lot of these papers and you know a fussy cut and I found Doing that in advance really, for me, isn't working that well. Sorry, I should be over here so you guys can hear me. Um, so, sorry, I'm looking for one particular stamp here. And it looks like the, oh, there it is. Yeah, i going to sort that out as well. All my stamps need a good old wash. Um, so yeah, the fussy cutting in advance, uh, it hasn't helped me at all. So I want to use up all this stuff in some little embellishments. And, um, because I do enjoy the small project. And I've got, um, a few little, uh, tag booklets planned because I love doing all those kinds of things. And, um. I just think, you know, like I said, for the foreseeable future with everything going on, I better go back to some sh smaller projects because um, it's just all getting to be a bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to sit that to the side. Again, very simple. This isn't completed, but I will come back because I'm going to probably put a bit of fabric under that. So yeah, it's probably just more a um, create with me type <clears throat> video because you've probably seen these done before, but I just thought it'd be really fun to just get on here and play around. Get a few of these made in advance um, and then I can have them ready for some upcoming stash busting projects but as I said they're going to have to be very small journals and I like the little tag booklets um, so I'll definitely be working with those because those are a great way to get you rid of stash um, as well. I'm just going to clip that while that dries. So moving on let me get another one of these. That's a little bit big. So yeah, I don't know. Spring, uh, spring is here, but uh, oops. but it's definitely still. I mean, at least we're we've got dry and cold at the moment, so that's great because the gray rain was getting to me. But the water, uh, the ground is just totally saturated. So I really feel bad for the farmers. <coughs> this is going to have set them back really. Um, really bad this year, I think. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I uh, had to check the door. Um, so I've got this, I've got two butterfly punches here, and these are retired from Stampin' Up. Um, I just thought. They, um, this one needs a little something, so we're just going to do a little bit to this. I guess these are super easy to do, you can see. But it, again, I think the worst part with all of these things, and I think you'll agree, is probably dragging out everything that you need for it, right? <laughs> um, but this is where I am just going to leave it and then come back and it's all out here because I think this is part of the, another part of my problem is I'm cleaning up every day and 
I don't know, guys. I just don't. I don't know. But, um, I haven't had a lot of time lately to watch videos. And that's another thing, you know, sometimes you just need some fresh, fresh inspiration. And I just, I'm not even getting time to really watch anybody. And uh, so hopefully I can get a little bit of um, motivation to get some new things going. Because I do love it. I love creating. It's just the pressure that uh, I'm just struggling with at the moment. Alright, let me ink that little, little guy up a bit. So, you know, you can just see, okay, you may have a different butterfly, but that's okay. It's just giving you some ideas. Just grab your punches and um, get your big shot handy, and that way you can add some bits of texture around. But, um... I think sometimes we can overthink this stuff. Um, I know I do, I, you know, and I'm just trying to say that that may, if you're going through the same thing as me, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you just, you're overthinking things. So maybe if we just take it back a couple steps and just do some really simple things, um, let's hope that that will get us back on track. <laughs> there. I'm really, I'm really liking that. It's very simple. You saw how quick that was, but the results, I think, very, very pretty. And I feel like I'm becoming very relaxed. So, so that's one done. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at with this? Oh, no, I stitched this one. This is the Prima Lavender Paper, in case you're wondering about that. So, let's see what I got that might coordinate with that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take some of the butterfly, and I'll just layer on that. Because I've got the papers here, I might as well just do it. And then, these been glued, so I can just do both of those at the same time. Okay, let me just... Kind of move that out a bit so you guys can see. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is just choose a couple of uh, butterflies. I like that one. And uh, I think I'll use I'll use that one as well. Okay. Oh, I wish I could have my music on uh, while I'm doing this. And I think in future I might actually, on some of my um, videos, you might start seeing a bit of music coming in because um, I think sometimes you don't necessarily want to hear me rambling on. But you feel like you got to fill the space, don't you? It's... I feel funny just sitting here with nothing, and so then I end up, end up talking about a load of garbage that nobody even really cares. <laughs> but um, either that or I'll, I probably am repeating stories. I hope not. I was thinking if I had been really organized, I would have written down anything I had, stories I had told you guys so I don't repeat myself. Wouldn't that be awful to find out? Oh, Gina, you've told that same story ten times. But yeah, I don't have a lot to share with you guys because honestly, with this weather, we haven't even been able to get out much. I mean, Sunday was the first time, and oh man, I can't tell you how good that felt to get out and actually shovel, get your hands dirty. I mean, we were filthy. We were absolutely covered in, um, in mud, but gosh we achieved a lot in the backyard so the garden sorry the garden we achieved a lot out there and uh, finding out that Miss Daisy's her days of being outdoors she's just not interested now she's 
13 and a half and um, gosh I'm making a mess with those scissors um, yeah she likes to go for her walks but I'll have to say well it was a cold day that uh, Sunday was so I think that's probably what it was she stayed in the kitchen and just looked out the window at us like are you people crazy what are you doing out there <laughs> But when we get her um, leash out of the cabinet, she goes crazy. She, she loves her walks still, but they have to be very short ones now, which is really sad. But, um, okay, so I've got those. Do, do, do. And then I love this paper. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just going to tear a bit of this. And then I might put a little bit of cheesecloth. Let me see if I got some of that handy before I start. So what's everybody thinking about this coronavirus? I uh, I wasn't too concerned about it until um, the news this morning here. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit worried because I was planning to go back and see everybody. And... Uh, it's making me very nervous because they're talking about possibly locking down things and I don't even know wow I just can't even imagine what kind of a nightmare that's gonna create flight wise you know so that's a big old concern sorry I don't know if I'm in frame here you see how much of that oh, stuff's just pouring out of there. I shouldn't even be using that glue. I ought to be using my glue sticks, but that's a whole nother place, so we'll just carry on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the linen thread. Just give that a little bit of a twist. Okay, I'm going to set that over to dry, and then I'll get this last one done here.
<clears throat> I think I'm going to have to pull that other one off. I've got that string a little bit too big on the other one. Okay. Yep, let me do that before that gets too dry. That I put just too much linen thread on that. That's going to bug me, so let me alter that. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm covered in glue. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can salvage it. If not, I'll have to start over. But yeah, that was just a bit too big. And then just give that a twist. Yeah, that's the only downside to the Fabri-Tac. You don't get long to correct any mistakes. It really does stick quickly, doesn't it? Okay. All right. The the glue's still got to dry, but you can see those are nice. And then I could also on the next batch I do, I'll actually add some of the glass glitter cuz I should have done that actually. Um there, there again, I'm just going to get all this stuff out and um that way, because I, I, you guys know, if it's 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 not on my in my little personal space here, I forget. I absolutely forget about things, so I'll get that out for the next batch. This is that little stamp, uh, Hobby Lobby. I know somebody will ask. It was. Just a group of stamps. I don't even know if they still have it because it's been several years now. But I like that uh, word sing. That's cute. And um, just thinking if I could add it. I don't know. I'll just have that for another one, I think. I'm happy with those. Okay, this one, hmm, I'm not really feeling it with that. I don't know why. It's just not really doing it for me. So I may sit those to the side. I've got I've got like a an altered paper lip clip graveyard. Um it's a I'll, I'll show you guys. It's the ones I've started and Maybe it was papers that just didn't do it for me, like those. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so yeah, these are just other ones that I started, and they just they just weren't doing it for me. So let's start again. So we've got. Those three, which I'm really happy with, so those are good.
Okay, let me see what else I've got in here. <clears throat> In my stash. What else have I got here that would go with that? I'm sorry guys, I've still got that scratchy voice. Okay, I don't know. That's the... Let me see, let me get this over here. Maybe I can do something with this. It's, um, I'm trying to coordinate. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. I don't know, that may not work. I was trying to coordinate some of these um, flowers I had cut out, but it's, they're not the right color, I don't think, for this. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? And then maybe just a... Uh, of those butterflies. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. That might work. Okay, let me see how I like that. If I get those inked, that's got to be inked up a bit. Okay. So I've only adhered those two in the center. That way it'll, <coughs> it'll be dimensional on the, on the little banner. <clears throat> and you can glue the whole uh, bottom butterfly down if you want. But <clears throat> excuse me, I don't really I don't really want to do that because I like the fact that it'll show should have inked that a little bit. So there, now that I think actually does need, it needs some kind of words. Let me see what I've got, guys. Yeah, I think it's too plain without something. I'm just going to see if any of these...
that worked out nice. Just had that little piece of cheesecloth, and that's just worked out perfect there. So that's that's hanging off a little bit, but I actually I like that. So you can see. And I don't know. What do you think? Maybe a little bit of bling? I think so. I think so. Let me grab this. Oh, if you could see the state of this room at the moment. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> All right, let me snip this. Gosh, I've had these from Stampin' Up! for so long. Yeah, I think that I think that did need that. So there you go. You can see. All right, so let's just show you. Again, actually, I think, you know what, I'm going to put, I'm liking that bling, so let me just add a little bit to this one as well. I think it just needs a little bit of something. Okay. Okay, let me tidy this up so you guys can see. Uh, I hate it. I hate it when it's all a mess. It feels um, hard to see everything. So there you go. Those are really quick. I think you can see. Um, if I hadn't been messing around, it would have been a really fast project. So I hope that you guys have uh, been inspired by that. I hope that if you're feeling kind of, oh, I just can't do another large project, that maybe you'll jump in and do some of these as well. Because um, I do think um, sometimes we just put too much pressure on ourselves to to create, you know, large large projects and it's nice to just step back so do um, stay tuned because I am going to have a lot more of these projects uh, planned and I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye!